New Star will become operational in about a week. Once fully deployed, astronomers will be able to get a close look at what are known as high energy fields in space, like exploding stars and black holes. Images will be 10 times crisper and 100 times more sensitive than any other telescope deployed in space so far. We'll look at everything from you know, the nearest black holes to our galaxy, which are you know, dozens of light years away, to the black hole in the center of our galaxy, to black holes 10 billion light years away. The telescope's optical units are attached to the ends of a lengthy mast and allows for a sharper focus in space. The plane carrying New Star took off from a United States military airbase in the Marshall Islands in the central Pacific Ocean. Scientists chose that particular location so that the telescope could more easily be deployed high above the equator from where it will move in sync with the Earth's rotation in geostationary orbit. Stern says New Star will also be able to tell us more about how our own sun functions. The sun is surrounded by this million degree corona or atmosphere that's just above the surface of the sun. And we actually don't know how the corona maintains that really hot temperature. There's two main theories out there. In a, about an hour of New Star observations, we'll be able to tell which theory is right. It's not quite to infinity and beyond, but New Star is all set to open a new window on the universe and give scientists a peek into areas never before seen from Earth. Arnand Naidu, Al Jazeera, 